Hey there, fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in Rome, and today we're going to talk about are some of the scams that tourists need to look out for when they come visit Rome, because of all the millions of tourists that come here, they draw in some of the more nefarious elements of the world, okay? And so I want you to be better prepared when you come here, all right? So the first thing you need to watch out for when you are here are pickpockets, and there are a lot of pickpockets here in Rome. You do need to be careful. That wallet in the front pocket, the money belt, the cross bag, these are all things you need to be thinking about using when you are here, because the tourists are here, and that means the pickpockets are here as well. And so what I'm gonna tell you is, it doesn't matter where you go. If there's gonna be a bunch of tourists, there'll probably be some pickpockets around, even in places where you're not expecting it. If you go to St. Peter's, if you go to the Vatican Museum, if you're in the Colosseum, if you're going into the museums, yeah, you might see that there's some pickpockets that are there, and so you need to pay attention. So that means the crossbody bag, that means you have the money belt, you know, the front pocket wallet, these kind of things. But the thing is, I think the most important spot you wanna be really paying attention is on public transportation, on the buses and on the metros, but especially when you're getting on the bus and when you're getting off the bus and when you're getting on the metro, when you're getting off the metro. Because sometimes what they'll do is if you're standing at the door of the metro and you're in the metro, someone might just grab your bag as the door closes and pull it out. It happens. We've actually seen it happen before. I've been here with a friend of mine. Her mom's purse had something like 20 cuts in it in the strap, but she had gotten one of those purses with the metal wire so it wouldn't get stolen, right? And it paid off because of all those things. So you do need to pay attention. Now, I'm not saying this pickpocket's going to get you all the time, but do watch out, okay? Use that safe at your hotel to lock up your passport and your important documents. Take a picture of your passport so you have it on your phone in case you need extra documentation while your passport's safe at home, all right? So that's the first big one. Now, the second thing I want you to watch out for is I like to call it the gentleman gelato goon. You know in other places there's the bird poop scam and the mustard scam? Well, here it's the gelato scam. Somebody, probably dressed nicely, maybe a guy, maybe a girl, whoever, whatever, they'll accidentally bump into you. It's like, oh, scoozy, I, I, I got some ice cream on you, let me help. And so they're very nice and they have a napkin and they're going to clean off your shoulder or whatever, but they'll, you'll put your bag down behind you when you do that. And while your bag's down, someone else comes by and swipes it, okay? So if someone spills something on you, be like, it's okay, I've got it. Keep your bags, keep your wits, and so you don't have to worry about that. Now, of course, you might still see the mustard scam or the bird poop scam. That does happen, but just know that there are those things that do happen. And now another, not necessarily scam, but something you need to pay attention to is people getting their bags stolen off the back of their chairs. And when you walk around Rome, you'll see people are having lunch outside. They're having their aperitivo, their drinks, their snacks and whatever. And they gingerly put their bag on the back of their seat, the back of their chair, and they think nothing of it. The thing is, sometimes people walk by and just take it. Or maybe you do some of your shopping when you're here, you leave your bags a little bit farther away and they might not be there when you finish. It's important you pay attention. Keep your bags in front of you, keep it on the table, keep it next to you. Don't put it behind you because that's easy for people to just walk by and grab, okay? That's why another thing you need to be careful of is the walk by phone swipe. You know how people, you have your phone out and you're checking your emails, you're taking pictures of all the great food that's here, and then you put your phone down on the table and you go back to eating that fantastic pizza, the fantastic carbonara that's here, and then you want to take another picture of the tiramisu and your phone is gone. What happened? People leave their phone on the edge of the table and they're not paying attention. People just walk by and take it. And you may think, oh, that wouldn't happen to me. That happens to lots of people, okay? So make sure you keep your phone with you, on you, not laying out on top of the table, especially if it's a high traffic area. Now, another scam I've seen when I've been here is the petition scam. It's when people come up and ask you, oh, would you sign this petition for ending you know, poverty or ending nuclear war or saving the world? I'm like, yeah, I believe in all those things, but I don't vote here in Italy. My, my signature doesn't matter and neither does yours. Because a lot of times what it is, is these are bogus petitions. Either they're sizing you up or they might be robbing you while you sign. Just be like, no, thank you and walk away. All right, so do be aware of that. And I think probably the biggest one I've seen with people with kids, because this happens to us quite a bit, is the, how would I say this? The freebie patrol. You know, they want to give you something. Maybe they want to give you a flower. Maybe they want to give you a bracelet. Maybe they want to give you something, a ring or whatever that they found. It's always, always oh, free. It's a gift. It's a gift. It's never a gift because they give it to you. Then all of a sudden like, oh, help me out. Give me some money. You're like, no, thank you. No, thank you. And they'll keep going. And like, oh, you don't like me. You don't like my country. You don't like us. And they'll get, you know, kind of 
far with it, you just go, no, and then you leave it, okay? If they put it in your hand, because what they do is they give it to your kid, and your kid's like, oh, cool. No, no, you just drop it on the ground, like, no, I don't want it. Because they're gonna harass you to get you to give them money, and that can be quite scary sometimes. For some travelers, I've actually had to shoo people away from my students before when I've been here at Rome to tell them, no, they don't want your flowers, they don't want your bracelets, leave them alone. So do be aware of that, okay? Now, another kind of similar, you don't think it's gonna be anything, but sometimes it is, it's kind of like the gladiator scam, and you don't really see it as much as you used to anymore because they don't get to be out as much, but sometimes when you're walking by certain sites, it might be people dressed up like a gladiator or a Roman centurion or something, and you're taking your family pictures, they'll come out, hey, how you doing? Let's get a picture together. And they're like, oh yeah, cool, we'll get a picture. I'm like, okay, now give me money. Like, what? I thought it was fun. No, it's never fun. If people want to be in your picture, they're going to want their money, okay? So just be aware of that. It's not necessarily a scam, it's just something you should be aware of. Now, another one I want to warn you about is the over-helpful tourists when you're at Termini Station, okay? So if you're at the train station, you'll see all these kiosks around where you can buy your tickets. And, and if you're not sure how the kiosks work, I'm sure someone will walk up like, oh, do you need some help? And they'll be glad to help you. The thing is though, make sure you're only getting help from official Train Italia personnel, not random people helping, because one, they might be taking some stuff from your bag or they might be trying to get your change from there or they'll ask for a tip afterwards. Believe me, if you figured out how to get to Italy, you can figure out the train kiosk to buy your tickets. So do be aware of that. And then it also goes if someone asks if they, if they can help you with your luggage, doesn't work as much now because you have to show your ticket to get close to the train station but back in the day that was one you had to be careful with if someone's going to help you with your luggage all right and then there is the hope we all have that the designer bag that they're selling on the street is really gucci and really proud and really louis vuitton i mean the stores are right down the street right there and, and they look kind of just like it look it's always a scam if it's a designer anything and it's not in the designer store here in rome it's a scam. Now, if you want to get those knockoffs, that's fine, but don't think for one second they're real and make sure you do that when you're talking about the price for it because it may be 500 euros at the Prada store. You know what? That's like 20 bucks on the ground, okay? Not 500, not 50, maybe 20 or 10 even, all right? So I wanted to give you a heads up on some of these scams that we've seen while we've been here in Rome over the years so you can have a better time when you're here because we don't want anybody to have a bad time in Rome. This place is amazing. So go and enjoy it. Enjoy Rome. Enjoy your time here. And just watch out for the, some of those scams. And if you know other scams about here in Rome, because there are more, put it in the comment section below so other people can learn about the scams to look out for. And if you have stories about getting scammed here in Rome, put it down there in the comment section below so other people can learn from our mistakes. Anyway, I wish you all the best. I'll say ciao from here in Rome.